Dean Dr. Linda Papadopoulos and Meg Matthews. Great to see you. And I think, you know, I sort of I know that people have their differing opinions on high street shoes, but I, mm. you know, I like a cheap thrill every now and again. Like uh, all of us. A cheap thrill so, is yeah. good for <laughs> good. So I can't normally buy high street simply because unless they're sort of like Ugg boots or right. trainers, they don't make them in size mm. twos because I've got really small feet. So yeah. It's just a two. My daughter's a one. <laughs> 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 she feels sassy. Do you think that's what, what most women think, feel like? I think absolutely. I think she's a sexual symbol, whether it's sort of the red stiletto or this sort of, you know, yeah. throwing off. So they, they have a real sort of glamour about them. But I also think the point that she made, the idea that more or less your foot remains a constant size. So as all your other body image issues will bring you down, focusing on your feet, which are, are relatively the same most of the time, sure. is actually a way of kind of boosting mm. that self-esteem. Mm. Um, and I think also there's something very kind of that only women get. I think only us, you know, a bunch of women could get what it means to wear shoes. And I think there's some sort of sisterhood, you yes. know, I think of, of yeah. you know, because men are don't yeah. really, I mean, boys might like to see us yeah. in high heels, but boys don't obsess about shoes. They unless, don't. you know, they, they don't they, understand they don't it at all. No, they face like I said, well, so, no, darling, those are not walking shoes. They're for sitting. I'm like, okay, then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The that's fine. I actually, I had a similar. Then you won't feel confident. Yeah. So you need mm. to kind of find a bit of balance there with kind of the, the looks and the, yeah. you know. And you obviously fit.